First of all, praise the Lord. He is good and his mercy endures forever. Life is a gift and the gifts come from God. I give him all praise and all the glory and all the honor. He's my father and I want to remain obedient to him. This is Minister Paul. It is 12.37 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9-19-2013. Now, I'm going to share something briefly. You know, I got corrected by God from deleting some videos. Remember when I heard Street Call Straight and I ran over here and found out and uh, the dream I had about the RPG and the machine guns being shot. This was even before the, the Navy Yard shooting. Um, there was, I was just in briefly, I was in the Middle East and I, I saw machine guns and RPGs being f shot. And I believe that's symbolizing Middle East war will break out. I don't know when. Let's stop with the when, okay? And, and, and get into the word of where our ultimate uh, destination is, is heaven forever. No matter how much we got to go through, Christ said, I'm going to prepare a mansion for you. And I believe him. That I have a mansion. So after in, the, in my dream, which I deleted and I repent publicly, don't delete your stuff because people put pressure on you. I was transferred to the United States and there was these, I was in this shootout again and it was a Ford uh, repair. Remember that? It was a Ford. Uh, you know, a couple days later, well, just recently, there was a shootout at the Navy Yard and everybody knows that, but it's not about that. A couple days later, it was announced that President was going to go visit a Ford company and my jaw dropped. And I didn't mention it, but I'm going to now. And also, last night, which would be th today's date, the 19th, last night, I don't know if anybody else has ever felt this before. It wasn't a vision. It wasn't a dream. I felt this sense of impending doom of an earthquake. Now, I've, I've got this feeling many times before my animals begin to act strange. Uh, the birds begin to, you'd have to live and kind of see, and I'm sure others have experienced this. The birds begin to fly weird, and within a couple days, there's an earthquake. And I was going to make a video last night about, you know, an earthquake warning to prepare. To, to prepare for an earthquake. That's the second thing. Um, and so I'm just going to put this information out. So this is where the president is visiting tomorrow, uh, Claycomo, and we'll just zoom in. Now I'm not saying something's going to happen tomorrow, I'm just saying there was a disturbance in my spirit about this long before I even found out that he was going there. So I would say pray. Some people believe that. Prayer doesn't change things, but I'm here to tell you prayer is a weapon. Prayer, you can pray protection over yourself. You can pray protection over others. You can pray that people be brought to repentance. You can pray. You can fast and pray. Um, here, here's the, let's look at a couple of things here. Here's the earthquake map and it's heating up. Uh, I, I just, I feel this sense of that we need to be prepared. You know, the water supplies that, you know, we have, well, that's right, thank you, Holy Spirit. There was a third thing, and I was kind of stalling because I couldn't think of the third thing. You know, we're not perfect, but the Holy Spirit will remind you. Um, what's odd is I, the Lord didn't show me where this earthquake was going to be, it, or, uh, but I believe that we will experience an earthquake, and uh, I believe that with all my heart. And I believe that the message God's trying to tell us, I mean, look at San Francisco has been pretty active the last week. I don't know if people monitor this in L.A. Um, and Northern California, too. And this region right here in Europe, 
right here. Um, let me let me just finish this so I can make a quick video. The the earthquake's going to hit, and the people can prepare in advance. You could, the, you know, I had to, another thing happen. Let me give you the third thing, and then I'm going to close out. I want to be have a quick video. The third thing was I was listening to worship music last night. So we have Obama uh, going on a trip, and there's something to do with Ford. I don't know all the details. We only know in part, and I'm just sharing what it was revealed to me. I'm not going to add to it or take away from it or set dates or nothing like that. I'm not saying it's tomorrow. It's just what was revealed to me about something to do with four, something to do with our president traveling, something to do with an earthquake. And there's another part of this. Um, as you look at this, this region here, this, this area, there's another part of this was, as I was listening to worship music last night, I began to pray. And that's when I really felt like I need to be prepared for an earthquake, check my batteries, you know, make sure everything that's charged, it needs to be charged, check my water, make sure it's fresh, make sure that I have non-perishable foods, um, just a lot of things that I do here in this household to be prepared in case we should lose power or, you know, just being ready, be prepared. And and as I was thinking on these things, I've, I've, I had, I felt like wormwood, it's in Revelation 8. I felt like, now I, I know a lot of people speak on Comet Ison and, and Nibiru and this and that. I've never really got followed that. I think the videos are fascinating. You know, I do believe that something clearly is up there heading towards us. But I, I don't really post like what the mainstream people post. You know, like I like when there's a shootout in the Naval Yard, it, there's so many other videos about it. There's so many other videos about Comet Ison. But I know in Revelation 8, there says it's a star. You got to remember that was written a long time ago. There's a star that's going to come down. It's biblical, so it's going to happen, and we should be prepared for that also. We don't know the name of it. The Bible calls it wormwood, and it says it's going to destroy the the, the water and, and uh, fowls. And I mean, I'd have to go read it again. People will die. It would be devastating. And so when I look, uh, I just really felt compelled to make a video last night to be prepared. I'm just going to title this Be Prepared. And I know that I think we might hit, we might take a meteor strike. Um, well, I know the Bible says we will. So I, and, and we could, a meteor strike and an earthquake and something to do, you know, I have a pastor friend of mine. He told me that when, when I have like dreams or visions or revelations about Obama, a lot of times it could be representative of our government. It doesn't have to be him in particular. It could be something to do with our government. Like when I had the Chicago dream, he says Chicago is where our president is from. So that could represent our nation in general. Does that make sense? So... Long story short, I didn't make the video at all. I woke up and um, 3.3 in Poland. I woke up and and uh, and I saw I, I found the story. President Obama to visit Ford plant in Kansas City. So my father used to live in Missouri and Iowa. He was born and raised in Iowa, and he recently moved out near me. And um, Interesting. Look at that picture. I'm wondering where that person. God will reveal things to you, boy. There's a person attacking me that has that icon. I just look. What, look at God. Everybody, look at God. You know why I didn't make a video and I repent is because I'm come under attack. Uh, I've, uh, I've, and, but when I stand before Christ. I, I, I don't have to report to those who are attacking me or persecuting me. Matter of fact, I count it all as joy today. I will remove comments. I will remove thumbs. And I will just put this word out in obedience about this area, about a meteor strike. Uh, and, and also, did you know wormwood is very bitter? And so I began, it's a herb that's used for medicinal purposes. And it's very bitter and, and, and has a really strong odor. And when I prayed over that, I felt like water supply being poisoned. A water supply 
uh, somewhere in the United States will come under attack at some point in some fashion. And so I was just letting the Holy Spirit lead me. And I wasn't going to tell anybody. But what good is it, Psalms 91, what good is it if you if you get a revelation from the Holy Spirit and he is the revealer, uh, if, if you don't share it with others? So I'm telling you, pray. Tomorrow is, is Friday. It's the 20th. And uh, I don't know, th this, could, this could happen a year from now. The meteor strike, the earthquake, something to do with our president and traveling. This is, could all happen a year from now. But I have to put this out in obedience, no matter what people think about me or God's ministry that he's working through me. Um, when I stand before Jesus and he said, Do you remember when I you know, showed you that revelation about the meteor and the earthquake and all that? Did you tell the people? I'm going to say, yes, Lord, I did. God bless you all. Be prepared. Can't hurt. Even if nothing happened, at least you're ready for it. And pray for your family. Shalom.